I'm gonna take, take y'all on a ride with me. So right now, so usually I be at work right now, but um, it's the day after Christmas, so I took the day off. Why not? Nobody gonna be there. But yeah, so this is um, I'm leaving my apartment right now. Yeah, so usually what I do is on my lunch break, I'll go get a, uh, a haircut for my lunch break and then just go back to work and finish the day. But like I said, we got uh, maybe some other things going on today. We're going to see how it goes. So I'm getting my haircut in the morning. Well, I always get in the morning, but I'm getting it early in the morning today at 9.15. So I got about 30, 35 minutes. So what I'm about to do is... uh. I'm gonna go grab me a Starbucks. I'm gonna go get me a nice coffee. Wait, but like, I like to always make sure that I'm looking right because, and this message is for my boys in the chair. We in wheelchairs, bro. Even to my my ladies, my sisters out there in the chair. We in wheelchairs, it's, it is what it is. So if we gonna be in the chair, right? What, I mean, even if I wasn't in the chair or even, even though I'm in the chair, if I see someone in the chair, I look at them. It's just like it's like a normal thing to do, I guess. It's like human, you just make you see something and you look. So if you look at me in my wheelchair, you gonna be like, "Damn, oh boy, look good. Oh boy, in the chair, fly." I've had women come up to me and be like, "Hey, where'd you get that shirt? Or where'd you get them pants? Where you get them shoes?" I like to get something like that for my boyfriend or for my husband. Or will you take my boyfriend shopping with you? Straight up, this is real talk. Um, and, I, and I laugh because it's like, damn, I should be asking other people, not other people asking me. But that's just how it works, man. The wheelchair is just, it's really not a bad thing. You get VIP parking too. You go to concerts, they pull you up to the front. I'm telling you, give me a second. It's really the mind. You put it in the mind, man. I mean, people struggle with appearance every day. You don't have to be in a chair. People struggle with relationship problems every day. You don't have to be in a chair. And I always get messages from dudes in chairs, or I see messages on my on my spinal cord injury group of dudes complaining that they can't get a girl to look at them. Bro, we'll look in the mirror. Would, would you holler at yourself? I'll be back. You feel me? Hey, y'all have a good one. Have a good you too. Hey, um, but what I was saying was, see, people love me, man. People love me. I had to, I had to pause the camera. I had to pause the camera because uh, I keep my debit card in my phone case in the back. So I had to take it off. So I just went ahead and just paused the camera. But we back live, baby. But a lot of dudes, man, after they get injured, and I was one of them. So that's why I really feel like I could speak on it. We throw in the towel. Or, you know, we give up. We put on weight. You know, we stop caring about our appearance. Um, the list goes on, man. Half of these dudes don't even work. Not because they can't, because they choose not to. It's all here. It's, it's all mindset, man. And I know because I was there when I when I broke my back. And I, But I still have my job, right? When they laid me off, I thought I was done. I was like, man, I can't even work. What can I even do? Right? So I was already throwing in the towel. I stopped cutting my hair. I was eating fast food every night. I'm ordering pizza. Um, but I had, at least I had a girlfriend. But when, when me and her broke up, that's when it really got bad. And I was like, yo, my life is over for real, for real. And um, I felt the same way. No one looked at me. But I never said it was a chair. I knew I was fat. Like I knew I was out of shape. I knew I didn't look good, and I knew I, that I used to be able. I used to look good, you know. I knew, but um, once you know the the breakup stuff happened, and um, I got in the gym. I don't have no script for none of this, man. This is just straight freestyle. Um, but I've been through it, so I feel like I can talk about it. So right, but yeah, right now I'm headed to the shop. I got my appointment at 9:15, and uh, 
I'll let you when I get there.